This medication is used to treat symptoms caused by the common cold, flu, allergies, hay fever, or other breathing illnesses such as sinusitis and bronchitis. Dextromethorphan helps to reduce the urge to cough, while decongestants relieve stuffy nose symptoms. Antihistamines relieve watery eyes, itchy eyes slash nose slash throat, runny nose, and sneezing. It's important to note that cough and cold products have not been shown to be safe or effective in children younger than 6 years, and some products are not recommended for use in children younger than 12 years. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist for more details about using this product safely. It's also important to know that these products do not cure or shorten the length of the common cold and may cause serious side effects. Be sure to carefully follow all dosage directions and do not use this product to make a child sleepy. Additionally, do not give other cough and cold medication that might contain the same or similar ingredients without consulting with a doctor or pharmacist. Always ask the doctor or pharmacist about other ways to relieve cough and cold symptoms, such as drinking enough fluids, using a humidifier, or saline nose drop slash spray. When taking children's cold and cough medication, it's important to follow the directions on the product package or as directed by your doctor. This medication can be taken with or without food, and should be swallowed with a full glass of water. If you're using the liquid form, be sure to measure the dose carefully with a medication measuring device. Don't use a household spoon and shake the bottle well before each dose if it's a suspension. Extended release capsules should be swallowed whole, and chewable forms should be chewed thoroughly before swallowing. If you're taking the powder form, mix it thoroughly with the proper amount of liquid and drink all of it right away. Do not prepare a supply for future use. The dosage of this medication is based on your age, medical condition, and response to therapy. If you're taking it for allergy or hay fever symptoms, take it regularly to get the most benefit from it. It's important to not increase your dose, take it more often, or use it for a longer time than directed, as improper use may result in serious harm. If your condition lasts or gets worse, be sure to consult with your doctor. Some common side effects of this medication may include drowsiness, dizziness, headache, upset stomach, nausea, constipation, or dry mouth slash nose slash throat. If any of these effects persist or worsen, notify your doctor or pharmacist promptly. To relieve dry mouth, you can suck on, sugarless, hard candy or ice chips, chew, sugarless, gum, drink water, or use a saliva substitute. Also, Make sure to drink plenty of fluids unless otherwise directed by your doctor to prevent this medication from drying up and thickening mucus in your lungs, which can make it more difficult to breathe and clear your lungs. To reduce the risk of dizziness and lightheadedness, it's important to get up slowly when rising from a sitting or lying position. If your doctor has prescribed this medication, remember that your doctor has judged that the benefit to you is greater than the risk of side effects. Many people using this medication do not have serious side effects. Be sure to contact your doctor right away if you experience any serious side effects, such as mental-slash-mood changes, ringing in the ears, shaking, tremors, trouble urinating, weakness, easy bruising-slash-bleeding, fast-slash-slow-slash-irregular heartbeat, or seizure. While a serious allergic reaction to this drug is rare, seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms of a serious allergic reaction, including rash, itching-slash-swelling, especially of the face-slash-tongue-slash-throat, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. This is not a complete list of possible side effects, so it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed above. If you are in the U.S., you may report side effects to FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you may report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before giving this medicine to your child, it's important to let your doctor know if they have any allergies. This medicine may contain ingredients that can cause allergic reactions or other problems. It's also important to tell your doctor or pharmacist about your child's medical history, especially if they have breathing problems, diabetes, eye problems, heart problems, high blood pressure, kidney or liver disease, seizures, stomach or intestinal problems, overactive thyroid, or urination problems. This medicine may make your child feel dizzy or drowsy, or blur their vision. It's important to limit their alcohol intake and not drive or operate machinery until they can do so safely. 
If your child has phenylketonuria, PKU, or any condition that requires them to restrict their intake of aspartame, be sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist about the safe use of this medicine. Liquid forms of this medicine may contain sugar and or alcohol, so it's important to use caution if your child has diabetes, alcohol dependence, or liver disease. Before your child undergoes surgery, be sure to inform their doctor or dentist about all the products they are using, including prescription drugs, non-prescription drugs, and herbal products. Older adults and children may be more sensitive to the side effects of this medicine, so it's important to watch for symptoms like dizziness, drowsiness, mental-slash-mood changes, constipation, fast heartbeat, trouble urinating, or blood pressure changes. If your child is pregnant, this medication should only be used when clearly needed and under the guidance of a doctor. It's important to discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. If your child is breastfeeding, it's important to consult with a doctor before using this medication. It's important to be aware of potential drug interactions when using children's cold and cough medication. Make sure to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Avoid taking certain MAO inhibitors with this medication, and be cautious of products that may cause drowsiness when using this medication. Additionally, this medication may interfere with certain medical and lab tests, so it's important to inform lab personnel and your doctors that you are using this drug. Remember to check the labels on all your medicines to ensure safe use. If you suspect someone has overdosed on this medication and they are experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, call 911 immediately. Otherwise, contact a poison control center without delay. In the U.S., you can call your local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222. Canadian residents should call their provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include agitation, confusion, flushing, hallucinations, dilated pupils, muscle twitching, and seizures. In children, they may first experience excitement, followed by loss of coordination, drowsiness, loss of consciousness, and seizures. If your child's doctor has prescribed children's cold and cough medication, make sure not to give it to anyone else. It's important to keep all the medical and lab appointments as recommended by the doctor. This will help ensure that the medication is working effectively and that any necessary adjustments can be made. If your child is taking this medication regularly and misses a dose, they should take it as soon as they remember. If it's close to the time for the next dose, they should skip the missed one and take the next dose at the regular time. It's important not to take a double dose to make up for the missed one. So, when it comes to storing children's cold and cough medication, it's important to keep it at room temperature, away from light and moisture. Make sure not to store it in the bathroom and definitely do not freeze the liquid forms of this medication. And as with all medications, it's crucial to keep them out of reach of children and pets. When it comes to getting rid of this medication, never flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless specifically instructed to do so. Instead, make sure to properly discard the product and it is expired or no longer needed. If you're not sure how to dispose of it, consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.